Very funny. Thank you. So did you sleep here last night or? Uh, no. You were wearing this yesterday. Yeah, okay, look at this. This is something. I'm telling you, check that out. Yes, it is an asteroid. We've been tracking that for weeks. It's about the size of this desk. It's not gonna survive the burn up through our atmosphere, just like hundreds of millions before it. Yeah, but this flaring right here, mm -hmm. that's a temperature shift. How do you explain that? It's Santa's sleigh. Oh my God, that is Santa's sleigh. You discovered Santa's sleigh. I'm serious, Neil, this is not normal. Yeah, neither is working over Christmas. Come on, let's go. Can't I stay? I mean, my parents are in Hong Kong. And I'm going to my aunt's tomorrow. I hate my aunt. Just give me the keys and I'll lock up. Alex, it's Christmas. You don't get extra credit for staying, you know? I'm not asking for it. I just want more time with this. I just want to see it through entry. Okay, fine, suit yourself. But I'm telling you, it's gonna burn up into nothing and you get a lump of coal for Christmas. Okay, a bah humbug to you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, Warren Twins, what the hell are you guys doing? How many times have I told you that dynamite is for avalanche control? It's not a toy. Knuckleheads. I mean, he made me do it. So, really? Yeah, man. It's it's a holiday. All right, look around. There's nobody here. TJ and I were just having a little bit of fun. <laughs> really, fun uh -huh. with dynamite. Wow. If you keep playing with that stuff, you're gonna take an arm off. Then what's your mom gonna say? Uh, she probably just blame you like she always does. Exactly. So you want to blow your arm off, then you do it on her weekend, not mine. Sorry, Dad. We were just a little bored. Really? Yeah. What'd you fix that lift gate I told you to fix? Yes, I did it like two hours ago. All right. Well. Good. Uh, Mr. Ratchet, we were uh, hoping to go downtown, meet some friends, go to the. Uh... You know, Christmas thing? Yeah, yeah, I know about it. Forgive me if I don't want to listen to Ben Crude spout off about what a damn philanthropist he is. I don't know. I mean, everyone seems to think that expanding the resort might bring more business. Be good for the town. <sighs> Son, everything comes at a cost. Ben doesn't seem to be taking that into account these days. Yet you still work for him. Yeah, I do. Doesn't mean I blindly support everything he does. This isn't right. Not this way. Hey, it is a Christmas celebration. I agree with this. I could go for some celebration. I mean, I could celebrate. You could celebrate, I could celebrate, you could celebrate. <laughs> Enough. Then you gotta go to your mother's. Yeah, it is her year. Tell you what, I'll give you a ride in town. I gotta pick up some supplies anyway. Yes. Kind father, he's a good man. The best. Yep. Watch out for Mr. Crooge. You know he loves employees chasing after his daughter, right? Yeah, at least I don't actually work for him. My dad does. I think that makes it worse. Probably. Yeah. See you around. Charlie, Merry 
Merry Christmas. You're looking very jolly. Ah, I thought you weren't coming in for this. Oh, me? Uh, I got a good excuse. You still signing my paychecks. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, celebrating the holidays. I <laughs> see that. Oh, this fake snow's a nice touch. Yeah, global warming's the way it is. Be lucky if this town ever sees a white Christmas again. <laughs> How you holding up? Mm, fake it till you make it, right? <laughs> Don't worry about me, Charlie. I'll be okay. He can take my store, but he can't take my spirit. Ho, ho, ho. Quick, if I miss my dad's thing, he'll kill me. Okay. And if he saw that, he'd kill the bullets. Listen, your father is one thing. My brother of yours, I really think he's on this. You're paranoid. Look, I don't want to hide anymore, Molly. I wish things were different. Scott, that good to see you. Scott, um, where is that sister of yours? We have to start. How should I know? Is it my turn to put on a radio caller? Uh, maybe try giving her a call. Do we have to do this now? No. <laughs> no, we don't. But we do have to do this right now. Merry Christmas, Mark. I didn't bring your present. It's okay. Just open it. And keep in mind, I wanted it to be bigger, obviously. Oh my god. It's diamond. Barely, but you know, saved up for it, so I hope you like it. <laughs> Tim, I love it. <laughs> Good. Oh. Ugh, they're trying to get a hold of me. Sure they are. Hey, look. Is that a shooting star? Huh. Hi, you've reached Marley. Please leave me a message. She's not answering. Oh, forget it. We have to do without her. Thank you, everyone, for coming. We are here today to break ground on a brand new retail complex. Now, in doing this, we should also say our thank yous and our goodbyes to all these stores around us. We honor the role they've played in our town's history. This is an exciting time for our town. We've always begun construction at the resort on Lake New Mountain. What is that? Okay. Come on, we need to go. This marks a new beginning for Lennox, finally bringing us into the 21st century. Prosperity is coming to Lennox. of singing Christmas carols, you know where to find me. Get on the phone to Governor Michaels. Crystal. Crystal, are you okay? Guys, 
Take your mom to the bowling alley. I have no idea. Oh. You good? You stand? Yeah. All right, I need your help. There's a lot of injured. We've got to get him out of here. Yeah. You up to it? Okay, yeah, go. Right. Oh. Oh. Stone fire? No, it's freezing. Is he alive? bigger than anything we can handle. We need some help out here. Listen up. Listen, I've just got off the phone with the governor's office, all right? Now, we've cordoned off the area where the meteor hit. Do not approach it. I want you to go home and stay there. And if you live downtown, you stay with a friend or a family member, all right? Thank you. Dad! I was so worried. Oh, Tim. You okay? Yeah, it's fine. What happened? Let me look at you. What hit you? Scott Crude. You want to know where Marley was? She was sneaking around with him. Ah. Is that true? Oh, yeah. We'll talk about this later. Go home. All of you. Now! Ah. Are you go home, too? Call your mother, tell her what happened, and then you're gonna be late. Meet you at the house. Be safe. It's getting worse. Why aren't you leaving with the rest of them? Taking that son of yours home. I'm here to help. We don't need you. Mayor put calls in. Cavalry should be here any minute. Ben, I'm not working for you right now. I'm here to help the people of this town. Something you lost sight of a long time ago. Well, um, now, you're not working for me at all. Really? Really? You think that matters right now? State troopers are here. You need to warn them. They have no idea what they're walking into. Uh, what are you doing, Charlie? Got a meteor strike. Cool as that. Uh, well, people are dead, so not very. You got experience with this kind of thing? Experience? What do you mean? Something is down there. I don't know what it is, but it's not stopping. Look, we're the closest division. It takes time to pull together all the resources to get a full squad. We got this. I wouldn't go there if I were you.
over? I don't even know what it is. Come here, me. Get the door. A little help would be nice. What the hell is this, Charlie? Damn if I know, but it's a hell of a lot more than just a meteor storm. No kidding. Did you see that storm? We all saw it. We need to get everybody out of town. Send them over to Tannen. He's right. You know, none of us is equipped to deal with this. I'll call Faye, see if she can take some community center. Tell her to get whatever resources she needs. I'll cover the expense. to Monday, that frees up Tuesday. Yeah? Uh -huh. Excuse me. Faye Charlie's on the line for it. He says it's urgent. Oh. You got that? Uh -huh. Excuse me. Are you okay? Is Tim okay? Well, he didn't call you? Uh, no. And I've tried calling, but I can't get through. All right, look, I'm sure he's fine. Listen. The mayor's evacuating the town. Everyone? What's going on out there? A meteor hit in the center of Main Street. That's total chaos over here. Can you make room for us over there? Of course, I'll make the preparations. All right, thanks. Oh, and uh, Ben said he'd take care of any extra expenses. Really? Yeah. When should I expect you? Uh, I'll start sending folks over immediately. I take it that means you won't be with them? No, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here, make sure nobody gets left behind. Charlie. Faye, come on, somebody's gotta do it. It doesn't always have to be you. Just be careful, okay? You know. Okay, bye. I just talked to Faye. She said she's gonna get ready for us, okay? I need you to take care of feedback communications. Tell people to dress warmly, bring food and bedding. I'll be back soon. What? Wait! Charlie! What are you doing? Where are you going? It's gonna take us a while to get these wounded out of here, and the backup generator is about to go out. I gotta get home, grab my tools, keep the lights and the heat on until we can get them out of here. Phone lines are down. Internet and cable, too. I'll say we're lucky we even have power. Well, everybody's being evacuated to Tannin until we can figure this out. We should get going. What about you? I mean, what are you packing for? Well, Ben and Mayor Gibbons are over at the clinic. There's a lot of wounded, and the power's failing. I'm gonna see if I can keep the generator running. Yeah. We should gear up. It's getting cold out there. Is TJ at the clinic, Dad? I uh, stopped by his house on the way here. He wasn't there. No. No, he wasn't. Look, everybody's being evacuated. We need to get out of here. Tim, now. I saw that thing come down on us. The meteor. It's split into two, changed colors. It's the craziest thing. What do you mean, split into two and change colors? I didn't see that. Where'd the other part land? I don't know. It's headed towards Mount Dickens, though. Well, that's far away from civilization. That's a good sign. Hey, Tim. You can talk to me about anything. You know that, right? Even if you don't think I approve. Okay. You know that dent on the back of your car? That was... That was me. Very funny. You know, Dad, you can send up to Ben Cruz just a, just a little bit. Is that so? Well, I did, today, and I got fired. Okay, very funny. 
I'm not kidding. Look, your mom's waiting for you. You should get out of here. I won't be far behind you. Don't worry about me. Oh. For luck. Merry Christmas, kid. Hurry up. I did it for your own good. Oh, screw off, Scott. You're not my dad. Enough! Both of you. There will be time to discuss this, but right now we are all going to Tannen until they sort this out. Grab your bags. Marley, you'll ride with Scott. What? Why? Because you're brother and sister, and one way or another, you are going to get along. What about you? I'm taking the Parsons, their car is in the shop. screaming about flash freezing. According to him, Highway 10 is completely blocked, giant chunks of ice. I guess the idea of all this stopping just went out the window. Yeah, I don't care if you have to put 10 people into a car, we need to evacuate. The only way out of this town now is the back roads.
happened back there? It's called a flash freeze. But I've only read accounts. I've never experienced one in person. Well, I've seen quite a few in the last couple hours, so... This way. And none of this before in the meteor, hey? Wait. wait. No? What do you know about the meteor? Who exactly are you, anyway? I'm Alex. Alex Novak. I'm a grad student at the university getting a PhD in astrophysics. I was tracking that meteor. Oh. Oh, Charlie Ratchet. Nice to meet you. You sure picked a hell of a way to spend your Christmas. I'd say. So what happened back there? You've never seen anything like that before? No, that's why. If it is linked to the meteor, then I need to get Wait, to the... What do you mean, linked to the meteor? How? It's so far away from here. I'm right, it's spreading. I mean... That's why I need to see the impact crater as soon as possible. All right, well, I can take you as far as the clinic. Last I knew, the mayor was there. You and he can discuss what you want to do from there. <laughs> hey, are you old school or new school? What? I think I know a way we can make up some time. Thank God you're okay. I'm fine. Oh, your lip. I tripped. It's nothing. Mm. Any news? No. No, only that it's bad. Bad still out there, obviously. I'm aware. Hey, uh, Mom, you, uh... You wouldn't have happened to see Marley Crooge around, have you? No, not yet. Hey, I need some manpower. Let's hop unload. Good thing. this. Stop it! Stop it! What's your problem, buddy? You're blocking the road! What, really? Scott, stop! What is your problem? My truck's broken. Can we give you a hand? That'd be great. All right, just go back in the car. I don't deal with this. What's going on? What's going on? Charlie, where the heck have you been? Man, we have got no phone. We've got a little bit of power, but the generator's pe Who's this? I'm Alex Novak from the university. Did the governor send you? Uh, no. I was following the meteor as part of my research project. Charlie, the generator's running hot. Where's your tools? I had to ditch them. Excuse me. I need to find the meteorite. Where is it? Middle of Main Street, for all the good it'll do you. It's the eye of the storm. Okay, which direction? Uh, suicide going back out there. Look, I'm going. This is obviously not your garden variety meteor, and I'm going to need a sample. Um, thank you. If it wasn't for you, well, I think you know. I, I, I... I'm going to take this. Merry Christmas. I right, guess go. I can't just let her go out there alone. Really? <laughs> yes. Keep this on Channel 5. No, Charlie, hold on a second. We're almost done evacuating here. 
When that last transport leaves, we're out of here. That's a Christmas spirit. Let's go ahead and get the coolers and make sure there's plenty of sandwiches, okay? Absolutely. Thanks. so much for helping us. What's wrong? I can't reach Marley or Scott. No one's seen them. There's no cell reception. I saw Jim dropping people off from the clinic. They're not there either. I'm really worried, Faye. Hey, it's all right. We'll find them. They should be here by now. I don't know where he went off to. I just saw him head outside. thing. Whatever it is, this is a major breakthrough. There's no precedent for something like this. Yeah, well, I'm no astronomer, but I'm pretty sure the meteor's not supposed to change the weather. It's a meteor, right? Technically, now that it's hit the ground, but you're right. Where are we? In the old mine shaft underneath town. It's freezing down here. How is that? I think that meteor height is causing it. So too. It's amazing. Scientists have debated for years whether the water on Earth originally came from the ice and meteors, but the Earth has so much water that hypothesis could never be supported with evidence. But this, 
This is some serious evidence. Well, congratulations. We're not climbing out of there. I think if we go that way, it takes us back to the clinic. Oh. lanterns may have saved us. I mean, the, that's a heat source. Look at the ground. It's a giant circle. No, it can't be that simple. Well, sometimes the right answer is the most obvious one. You still want that sample? No. Let's go.
Did you find Tim yet? He left. I think he went looking for Marley. Hello, Skip. What? Give me your phone. Ben bought a hella skiing company last summer. Cole, this is Crystal. I need you to drop everything right now. I have a crisis. Can you hear me? I'm clear, Faye. We're about five miles out. Keep your eyes peeled for any stranded people. Number five is blocked. The pass is buried. The only way out of Lennox is on foot. Can you see anything moving? Cars. People. Not so far. Me and Gary, we ain't exactly search and rescue, but we'll do our best. Thank you. I can't tell you how much this means to us. Hey, no worries. It wouldn't be Christmas unless someone needed saving, right? Garrett, let's split up. We'll start with the city limits and search south. We'll take everything to the north. Roger that, Big C. On my way.
You read me over. Anybody copy over? Stop this thing. What? No, we run. We get as far away as possible. Run where, Ben? We have no idea how far this thing is spreading or how fast. 
We have a chance to stop this now. I'm not absolute about this, but heat, extreme heat, is a reactant. That's been made clear. So if we can produce enough heat... At the source, at the impact, we'd have a shot. A shot at what? At killing ourselves? It's about rebalancing nature. A subatomic chain reaction is taking place. It's not magic, it's science. And it can be stopped if we can produce enough heat at the source. How about uh, dynamite? Yeah, if there's enough, maybe. Yeah, there's enough. I sign the invoices, I should know. Well, let's get to the resort. Up on the way down. Freezing. Keep moving. Hey, okay, Molly, we have to keep moving. Come on. Come on. It's coming back. Is that you? Charlie? That's me. Ben's here too. Something happened. Gary saw him and Marley near Avery Wood, but then he yelled and... Okay, we're heading that way. Faye, I need you to listen to me. Okay, this thing is spreading and it is cold. Arctic storm cold. Barricade yourselves inside. Build fires. Any heat source that can survive a blackout. Do not go outside. We have a plan to stop this. Ben, me, and Alex Novak, an astrophysicist. Oh, Faye, I'm serious. Do not try and evacuate. Build up as much heat as you possibly can inside. That's your only protection. I understand. 
Charlie, the kids. Faye, I'll find them, I swear. We got this. Do anything to stay warm. All right, trust me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. We are gonna make it, okay? We are gonna make it out of this. All right? We are. Just think warm thoughts. I'm gonna be right back. Where are you going? I'm gonna start a fire. In just a minute, I gotta go outside and deal with something before they board this place up. <gasps> Here you go. Faith, we're going to Billings. What? I've got a four wheel drive, we'll be okay. You don't understand. Highway 5 is blocked, so is the pass. There is no way out. We'll take our chances. Don't do this. Charlie said to stay inside, he was adamant. Look, we've made our decision. I know those roads like the back of my hand. We've gotta get help. Bob, don't. Don't worry. We'll be back with help. See anything? Santa on a dry run.
everybody okay? destroy that thing. You're gonna lose your evidence. I know. I'll go after the kids. You're the explosives expert anyway. Try not to blow yourself up. It's funny. That's what I keep telling Tim. See you guys at Tana. Good luck. You too. Oh, my God. 
come up a tournament.
Yesterday, this entire area was covered in snow. And the town was green, and now it's reversed. There's definitely something crazy going on. Charlie, look at that. What? Something is affecting the storm. Meteor. What about it? My son said he saw the meteor split in two before it hit town. He said one of the pieces was heading in this direction. I saw this weird heat shift when I was tracking the meteor through space. One piece gives off uncontrollable cold, the other heat. Together they make up a normal meteor, but split them apart. Oh, screw it. We gotta get them back together again. What are you doing? I'm finding that missing piece. Well, bells could show up on flying reindeer right now would be the strangest thing I've seen today. Whoa, 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 shouldn't we? Shouldn't we what? This isn't an archaeological expedition. Let's get it and go. Oh! Hot? Yeah, it's a little toasty. These gloves are heat resistant. That's more than a little heat. Are we in a transport? scientific discovery of the century, and no one's gonna believe me. Well, if it's any consolation, I believe you. <laughs> I'm just thinking, 
not enough good deeds for the day that you won't be on Santa's line and lose for the rest of your life. You should get out of here. Are you kidding? I'm not gonna miss this. together for a while. We split up. Good to see you. You too. 